everyone, what's going on? Summer 11 here. Um, I'm going to be doing a review of the movie Rags. So, yeah. <coughs> this movie recently came on Nickelodeon. It's a pretty good movie. It It's um, been coming on like every few days, so you might be able to catch it. Because actually it was on last night and I caught part of it. I usually don't uh, watch movies after I've seen them, like, watch them twice. I mean, I only watched, like, a little bit of it. I wasn't watching the whole thing over. I'm definitely not doing that. But here we go. Today I'll be reviewing the movie Rags. This is a movie that aired on Nick. It was pretty amazing. It's kind of like Cinderella, if you switch the gender of some of the characters. Um, the actors that I feel like mentioning are uh, Avon Jogia. That's, uh, he plays Beck on Victorious, and he played Finn in this movie. Drake Bell, he played Drake on Drake and Josh. Um, he did various characters on, um, the Amanda show. Yeah. Uh, Max, Max Snyder, he, uh, plays on, um, How to Rock. Kiki Palmer, she had her own show, but she, like, left that to make movies. And Nick Cannon. Uh, Nick Cannon, he hosts, uh, he do, he's a host of, um, America's Got Talent. Um, he was a Nick star back in the day, but he's an adult now, so. There's a small cameo by Gracie Denzi. She plays, um, a character on Super Ninjas. She, uh, she has, like, a poster in the movie. It seems like that was pretty popular with people. Um, tell me if you notice in the movie. It's kind of hard to notice unless you're paying attention. The main character is Charlie. His mother died when, um, when, his mother died when he was young. And then, um, he's not living with his evil stepdad. But, seriously, some of the things that his stepdad and stepbrother do in this movie would make me want to assault them. Like, they're just nothing but trash. Um, seriously, if you've seen Cinderella, you know how this is gonna go, go down. It was nice to see Drake Bell again. He, um, the way I wanted to think about it was like, he could be like a mentor to the younger Disney star. I mean, uh, Nickelodeon stars. Yeah, Nickelodeon stars. Um, in a the movie, there's an error. Like, if you notice, uh, Drake Bell has a beard when the movie starts. Then at the party, it's gone. And then at the end, it's back. So that would probably mean that the scenes were filmed, um, uh, they were not filmed in the order, and then movies do that, TV shows do that, they don't film the whole thing in order. Um, the songs that were in the movie were great. Finn was kind of played off as a jerk, and the, um, the way they had him is, um, the way, the way they had him acting was probably the way that some of these actors act in real life. Like, I'm not saying these actors exactly, but I'm pretty sure some of these actors act like that. Um, Lloyd got a good ending, in my opinion. He kind of deserved it, though. He was always getting picked on by, um, Andrew. He just seemed like the good one. Um, his stepdad and stepbrother deserved their fate whatever um happened at the end of the movie that I won't say. Um there's a quote that I find some uh that I found that's supposedly by Will Smith and I thought it would really apply to this movie. It says, "If you're absent during my struggle, don't expect to be present during my success." The movie the music score was great. I just wish um Drake Bell could have done a song and um you know Nick Cannon cuz they they can sing too. Um I've never heard of a masquerade party in real life. I'm being completely serious. I've only seen these in movies. Um, and actually, it would be so easy to uh, expose someone at a movie. I mean, ah, I'm messing up all over this video. It would be so easy to, to expose someone during a party. Because um, you can tell by the features of their face and the voice. By like what part of their face you can see. Like, if, if I went to a masquerade party and like some of my friends were there. And, and you're like identify them, I'll be like, okay, well, I can kind of see their eyes, I can kind of see their chin, I can see their hair, so I I'm pretty sure I'll know who this is, and I can hear their voice, so all of that. 
Um, I'll give the movie a 9.5. Um, I don't even know if I have any complaints with the movie. Hmm. It'll be a 10. Whatever, 9.5 or 10, whichever one you prefer. It's, it's in that range, because it's a great movie. Um, Nickelodeon. Uh, you guys might be on the ball. Make some more movies. Uh, Nick, I don't know if Nick does, like, the best movies. Like, th this one's good, but I remember some in the past that were bad. Uh, and then they always have, like, those small iCarly movies and Victoria's movies. They're okay. But, um, Disney... Um, might do movies better. The Disney based, um, most of their movies are based on books, I think. Like, you know, Lemonade Mouth, that was good. And then I got Geek, Geek Charming recorded. I might watch that soon. And, um, yeah, there's Lemonade Mouth 2. Stuff like that. But anyways, I'm getting off topic. It's a great movie. I don't really want to give away too much of the plot. But, um, most of the stuff I said was, um, like, about the plot, is like, right in the beginning. And then, like, I gave you a few spoilers, but it's not, like, a big deal. You can see it for yourself. Anyways, um, thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. Check out some of my favorite channels on my channel, in my channel box, and in the comments section. And, um, I'll talk to you guys later in the next video. Bye.